Hey, great news. After about a month of being in slope application problems, looks like we got something else to look at here. Uh, let's take a look. Jessica wants to fence in a pasture for her horse. If the pasture is 500 feet by 400 feet, how many feet of fencing does she need? Okay. So first thing, uh, Whenever I have a question like this that has a shape in it, I suggest you draw the shape, especially since nowhere in this problem does it say what shape we're looking at. But think about it. If we have a pasture and it doesn't tell us the so um, shape of it, but it does tell us that we have two dimensions, a 400 foot dimension and a 500 foot dimension. Whenever this happens in one of these geometry style word problems and it doesn't tell you the shape, just go ahead and assume rectangle. Rectangle is usually the shape of a room, usually the shape of a pasture, a lot. Um, if it was anything besides a rectangle, like it was some strange shaped pasture, a triangular pasture or something, they would let you know. Otherwise, assume rectangle, okay? So now we want to uh, put fence around this pasture. Uh, some of you guys already know without being told what kind of a problem this is. But even if you've never done geometry before, you don't know area, you don't know perimeter, you don't know volume, none of those words make any sense to you. I think it's pretty obvious um, how we could simply do this problem. Because let's think about it. To go around this side of our pasture, we would need um, the first 500 feet of fencing. And to put fence on this side of the pasture, I would need another 400 feet of fencing. Um, I just need another 400 feet, so I'm just going to add on another 400 feet. But then I'm not going to stop and only fence in half of my pasture. Pasture. I'm going to need to keep going and go all the way around, so I need fencing for right here. Now how long is this piece going to be? Well, because we're assuming this is a rectangle, this piece is going to be the same length as that piece, so that's going to be another 500 feet. So I'll tack on another 500 feet of fencing. And then just as before, we're going to make sure we go all the way around our pasture and not let our horses escape. And so I'm going to need fence right here. And how long is that piece going to be? Just like the one across from it, it will be 400 feet long. And so I can tack on another 400 feet of fencing. And you don't have to know anything about geometry to have some common sense. And let's see, if I were to add these up, I'd have 1,000 1,400, 1,800, 1,800 feet of fencing. Now, if you are the mathematician who says, hey, that was a perimeter problem, that made me find the distance around the outside of the shape, then congratulations. However, you didn't have to know a thing about a perimeter to kind of work through that problem.